Yeah, I'm Dennis Pilot. Great. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, wow, that is broad. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm Matt. I live in London. I used to live in Leeds. That's where I'm from, which is a small, small uh, city in the north of England. Uh, I like punk rock. I'm kind of awkward. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> um, how did you first get involved with music? Um, I picked up a guitar when I was nine and started teaching myself guitar and then became obsessed with playing guitar and, and bands and stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then it just kind of snowballed from that, like, taught myself guitar, found a bunch of CDs in my brother's room, which was like Deftones and Nirvana and Rage Against the Machine and um, a, band, a, a band called Terrorvision, which had a really good period and, and then otherwise absolutely sucked. Um, so I found all those CDs and like they blew my mind. And then, I don't know, yeah, just like got super obsessed by, by music and then got interested in drums and taught myself drums and got interested in bass and did that. And, and then I moved to <coughs> Leeds when I was meant to go to college in Leeds, like art college, and then I, I dropped out a week before I was meant to start the course and just went there anyway and joined the band or started the band and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so what inspires you or I guess what is your biggest inspiration? Um, <clears throat> well, other band, other bands that kick ass is my biggest inspiration, but I, I don't know. I, th I think the re like the re like the reason why I write music and stuff is because I always felt, you know, slightly ostracized or isolated from from other young people and stuff. So I think that's an influence in itself. But you know, when I went to I went to uh, a festival in Scotland called Tea in the Park when I was like 15 uh, and discovered Jimmy Eat World and their adoring clarity and that blew my mind and uh, Foo Fighters headlined that festival that year and that blew my mind. So seeing seeing those guys perform and like obviously I discovered Jimmy Eat at that festival but obviously I was listening to the Foo's and or you know Nirvana and Deftones and stuff, and seeing that live, I was just like, that, that's what I feel like, and, you know, so seeing kind of killer bands, you know, kicking it and stuff, that was, um, that was the biggest influence, I guess. What's one thing you want fans, new and old, to know? <clears throat> um, hmm. What do I want them to know? to know that, like as a band, I think it's kind of cool that none of us, um, none of us really have an ego or none of us even really consider ourselves particularly ace, like guitarists or whatever. We just kind of do it and that's something quite unique about us that I really like. Um, I think we're, like as a as a group of people, we're just like quite down to earth and stuff. That's what I want to know. That's why, like after shows and stuff, we're probably all like ninety nine percent of the time we're always out at the front talking to people after shows and stuff, which a lot of bands like don't do. I guess the bigger you get, you have to stop doing that, or whatever. But I don't know. We like we like hanging out with people and stuff. So yeah, fans certainly like that as well. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your EP, Peninsula, that comes out on October 29th? Yeah, um, so that's our first release in the US, <coughs> which we're super pumped about. And it's, I guess it's like, uh, it's a taster to record Nature Nurture, so it's a kind of a little taster of, of that record for people to kind of mm. have and get into and stuff. Um, the lead track is obviously Peninsula, um, 
which is probably my favourite track of the album and kind of feels like, you know, kind of feels like where the album is and the song is kind of about being young and doing exactly what you want and energy and, you know, kind of being passionate about something, uh, which I, you know, really like and I'm glad that song was written. Um, and that's the top, you know, that's the lead track of the EP, so I'm just kind of psyched about people hearing that because I think there's nothing really out there like it, you know, you know like alternative mainstream rock that doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, 